This 52nd World Series will start in Yankee Stadium. There's nothing quite equal to the excitement of a World Series opener. The big question, will the Dodgers finally conquer their World Series jinx? Walt Alston, the Dodgers pilot, and Casey Stengel are besieged by the photographers, an old World Series custom. It's the 15th World Series for coaches Frankie Corsetti and Bill Dickey, one-time Yankee stars, an all-time record. It will be Whitey Ford for the Yankees, Big Don Newcomb for the Dodgers. Don won 20 and lost five this season. Whitey was 18 and seven for the Yankees. Real veterans of the classic are the rival shortstops. Pee Wee Reese of the Dodgers is going into his sixth World Series. Rizzuto of the Yankees is ninth. Game time is drawing near, and the huge crowd is on edge. And there they are, the Dodgers and Yankees in full strength. All are silent as the band plays the national anthem and the flag is raised. The ground rules are being discussed, and here come the Yankees for the start of game number one. Junior Gilliam, Brooklyn's leadoff batter, faces Whitey Ford, and the World Series is on. Ford takes Gilliam's grounder for an easy out at first. Carl Perillo, who had hit a homer for the Dodgers' final run in the 1953 series against the Yankees, does it again, knocking the ball into the right field seats to open the second inning. Jackie Robinson slams a triple to left center. With the infield playing in, Zimmer pops a single back of second. Scoring Robinson for a two to nothing lead. In the Yankees half of the second, Joe Collins walks with one out, bringing up Elston Howard. In his first World Series time at bat, Howard smashes a home at the left. The two runs that tie the score. Duke Snyder, who hit four homers in the 1952 World Series, opens the Brooklyn third with a tremendous blow into the third tier in right field. And the Dodgers go ahead three to two. After the Yankees tie the score in their half of the third, the Dodgers put two on base in the fourth. But Billy Martin stops Reese's hard shot and turns it into a side retiring double play. To start the Yankee fourth, Joe Collins connects. It's a homer into the lower right field seat, giving the Yankees a four to three lead. With one out in the sixth, and the Yankees still holding their lead, Hera singles to right. And here's that Collins man again. There goes the ball, with Duke Snyder in pursuit. He jumps in vain, as the ball clears the scoreboard in right center for two runs and a six to three Yankee lead. That's the fifth home run of the day. Newcomb's in trouble again when Martin lashes a triple over Gilliam's head. And that's all for the big right-hander. Don Besson is the new pitcher for the Dodgers and Eddie Robinson bats for Rizzuto. But Martin's anxious to score. And umpire Bill Summers calls him out at the plate on an attempted steal. 
with Carl Ferrillo on first and one away in the Dodgers eight. Gil McDougal boots Jackie Robinson hard smash, putting runners on second and third. On Zimmer's sacrifice fly to Norin, Perillo scores and Robinson races to third. With pinch batter Frank Keller at bat. Robinson dashes to the plate. It's close and umpire Summers calls him safe on the daring maneuver. But Yogi Berra doesn't think so. Kendall sends for Grimm to the mound in the Brooklyn Knights to protect the narrow edge. And Reese is called out on strikes. The tying run is on when Snyder singles to right. But Bauer goes deep for Campanella's curving drive. Two out. Perillo fans on a high outside pitch, and the Yankees win this first match of the 1955 series. Six to five. A gigantic crowd, 63,869, lives up this big moment in riotous applause. In this battle of home runs, Joe Collins is the hero, and Casey Stengel lets him know it. And the fans will never forget the sight of Jackie Robinson preparing for the plate on his daring steal. <laughs>